will charge back back Cause genius sisters use them like a lab rat The main freak dad at home is super busy mom But the boy's best friend is a talking dog That's right Extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game control and skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. This summer, Speed McCool will meet his toughest challenge yet. Step right there and finish those snacks. As a preschool parole officer. I made duty. It's the funniest, most exciting thrill ride of the year as Speed takes on ninjas. <laughs> a road cop bent on revenge. And a mob of turbo toddlers. Hey, back off! This isn't in my contract! Hey! It's the best movie in the history of the world ever. We gotta see that movie! Uh, I'm a dog, not a goat, but that movie was bad. Speed McCool in a comedy? Why did we go see that? Because the guy in the TV commercial said it was the funniest, most exciting thrill ride of the year. Hey, that was pretty good. Face it, a great voiceover can make the most boring of things sound more exciting than ever. <laughs> what seemed like an ordinary vegetable was about to give Johnny super strength and razor sharp vision. Hey, that does make eating a carrot sound more exciting. Keep going. Johnny didn't know it, but his math homework would help him to unlock the secrets of the universe. What? This doesn't tell me what hot dogs are made of. <laughs> the point is, a cool voiceover can even make math sound exciting. But I want my life to be more exciting. Imagine a voiceover that could actually turn a boring old day into an exciting movie. <laughs> We're not playing with bunnies. We were, um, experimenting. Whatever. Now, life can be boring. And voiceovers are exciting. You guys are geniuses, right? So, what about inventing a voiceover thing that could bring real excitement to life? So every day is the most exciting thrill ride of the year. It's an interesting thought, Johnny, but it's scientifically impossible. <sighs> oh, oh well. Then I guess you won't be starring in your very own real-life romantic comedy preview with Gil next door. No! Let's see what we can do. Behold, the voiceover 9000. Humans only use 10% of the brain's capacity. So the VO9000 uses the other 90% to connect powerful brain waves to actually change people's behavior. All you have to do is talk into it. This summer, one dog would learn the true meaning of spirit. It's Cheerleader Dog! Give me a D, give me a U, give me a K-E-Y! What's that spell? Guilty! <laughs> Well, that was weird, but I do feel peppy <laughs> and pretty. There's also an auto mode. We pre-programmed the VO9000 with several movie trailers guaranteed to make your day more exciting. You can switch from action to horror to romantic comedy. The girls had given up on love until Jill next door realized they had as much in common as three hydrogen atoms. <laughs> Hello, girls who love science as much as I do. Would you like to join me for a lovely afternoon of doing things we have in common? <sighs> Later, Johnny. Oh, this is gonna be good. Johnny was sick of long rides on the bus, so this morning his ride was gonna get a little longer. Hey! Wait for it. Nice. 
you could come to school with me, because I'm going to have fun testing out the auto mode. Johnny, be sure to hurry home from school. Tonight's meatloaf night. Where'd you get the limo? Found it. And simply solve for pie. In a world where a teacher was taking four to a whole new level, Johnny would soon discover that the only pie he'd have to solve was pizza pie. So, Gil, what should we do now? Go dancing, swimming, look at the clouds and dream? No, I thought we could play with my bunny collection! Isn't it great that we have so much in common? <sighs> this might be Susan and Mary's greatest invention yet! Huh? So, give it here! What started out as a normal afternoon was about to get sweeter. Who wants free ice cream? Ice cream tastes way better than paid for ice cream. Um, careful where you drip. Eh, it won't hurt anything, right? Coming to a theater near you. Ready PG-13. Steve McCool. Love was rough, 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 right, rough. Monkey. Monkey. In a world, Anyway. Will did Johnny know he was about to be kidnapped by ninja? Say what? It shorted out and it's stuck! On action mode! <laughs> oh, this is bad. <laughs> and this is Charlotte, and this is Rachel. She's my favorite. Playing with bunnies with new friends is fun! Yeah, lots of fun. Yeah, but we have to go now and find our brother and dismantle a little invention we made. Get out! I love little inventions too! Behold! The bunny bought 9,000. <laughs> oh, he likes you! Bye, Johnny! <laughs> turn it off! Turn it off! It won't turn off! How could they deal with a road cop bent on revenge? Oh, no. Not the road cop! You two are going down! Ah! Wait! And don't you want to do sciencey stuff together? No! Okay, uh, then let's go dancing. Huh? Uh -huh. Look! We even have the same dress in common! Huh? Ah! <laughs> and up a pack of turbo toddlers! Do you want sprinkles? Oh! We have to find Susan and Mary! Come back, girls who I have so much in common with! Um, we have to go to a ballet, so go home. Bye! But I love ballet, too! <laughs> I got ninjas and cops and kindergartners chasing me! Don't break it or its effects could become irreversible. It has to be rebooted. Take a screwdriver and open up the back. Ah, the joys of making meatloaf. There's a blue wire that runs the length of the device. Got it! Don't touch that. Okay. <laughs> that connects to a small red terminal. Don't touch that either. Now, cross the green wire with the red terminal to force reboot. I hope this works! Uh, why am I on a sidewalk dressed like the Tooth Fairy? Weird. Later, girls I've never seen before. Well, that was different. Good work, Johnny. 
Now to destroy this thing once and for all. Kids, come down for dinner. It's meatloaf night! In a world where Dan's meatloaf was as dry as a desert muskrat, the test kids were about to have the biggest party of their lives! now say global warming is reducing the penguin population. With large chunks of the ice cap melting, the flightless furballs are quickly losing their homeland. Frozen Earth? It's an online game sponsored by the military. And it's awesome and violent and free. But it says you have to be 18 to play and willing to serve in case of a national emergency. And now I am, as far as they know. You're gonna get in trouble and you're not old enough to serve in the military. And look out, there come the alien invaders! I told you this game was awesome. It's like a real battle for Frozen Earth! Sir, do you think we brought enough troops? We're fighting a rogue enemy we've never fought before. We're fighting penguins! And I'm pretty sure I can defeat a pack of stupid flightless birds! Why? <laughs> Whoa! I didn't see that coming. Okay. Huh? We need more troops! Retreat! I just got the high score! <laughs> I think that if you were called to battle, you would totally kick some... Johnny Tess plays Arctic Recon online and has the high score and said he was 18. Uh... We just suffered a defeat against rogue penguins and we're calling you up. Let's go. Here's a funny story. I'm not really 18. I'm 11. Whoopsies. That's what they all say. I'm telling you, I'm 11. I just wanted to play the game. Johnny's been drafted! And now... Argentina is only 700 miles from Antarctica. With global warming continuing, we presume more and more penguins will make the trip looking for a new home. Run! Run for your lives! Captured Argentina, and the whole world could be next. Not if we train and equip a new generation of super soldiers and defeat this ultimate foe with ultimate fighters. I'm only 11. Man, the world is facing its greatest threat ever penguins. And they are really mad about global warming. And they stole some weapons. Now they are poised. Uh, well, they take over the world. Penguins? We're losing to penguins? It's an unpredictable enemy. Over three million strong. With nothing to do.
to lose. We'll all be trained for this important mission, and together we will defeat this foe. Oh, uh, uh, good luck. Uh, I'm not supposed to be here. I should be in my fifth grade class, and <laughs> this is just like the one in the game, only it's real. Johnny like. Hiya! Johnny got drafted, and he's in the military, and it's all your fault, and you have to help him! No, I have to finish the new bling bling blaster. If Eugene ever comes to ask me for a date, we just zap him, and he's stunned for 24 hours. And it's painless. I added the painless part. Susan Test, go on a date with me! It works! You won't help Johnny, who's in trouble. Then I'll get you in trouble! How? I'll expose my talking origin to your dad and get you in trouble for making a talking dog! He's bluffing. Cool. You will go through simulated training where you will battle a robot enemy in our state-of-the-art 11 gazillion dollar frozen training facility! And only the strongest soldiers will be selected for this mission. Oh, this is gonna be fun. And now, a special report on the Penguin War. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Did Dookie just talk? No, he's, uh, just choking. <laughs> no, I'll go online and find out what to do. Okay, you win. But we don't even know where Johnny is to rescue him. But a special force is now being trained to defeat the rogue penguins bent on world domination. <laughs> okay, I'll make two more bling bling blasters. <laughs> Who is that soldier? He's amazing. <laughs> Didn't I tell you this thousand acre frozen facility was worth 11 decadillion dollars? Find Johnny and freeze him. Then we'll drag him home and thaw him out later. Who are those rogue fighters? Those aren't ours. Stop those rogue warriors. Uh-oh. Now we're the target. Stand down. We don't want to hurt you. Yeah. Same here, Bub. Raise them! Yeah! Oh. Freeze, enemy soldiers! Don't move. Johnny, it's us! We're here to save you! But I'm having a blast! Literally! Yeah, but you can't go to war! You're 11! What's going on? Who are you? And with those weapons, we're gonna kick those penguins! But it's the test kids and their friend with the hair disorder. Johnny, what are you doing here? I signed up for the video game, probably shouldn't have, but I told the sergeant I was only 11. Is this true, sergeant? Uh, he's temporarily frozen, but he'll be fine in 24 hours. Are we in trouble? No, Johnny, you're not in trouble, but the world is. With those rogue penguins on the loose and no troops to fight them, it's over. Did I say I was 11? I meant 18. Uh, we're 18 too. Oh, well, I'm touched, kids, but I absolutely cannot let you lie about your age to serve your country. Why not? Good boy. Now get those battle suits on and give me more of them bling bling blasters. We got a penguin war to win. Yes, sir. Set your bling bling blasters to automatic and hook for the best. I need you to sign this saying it's okay to miss school today. Oh, sure, no problem. We did it! We won! But why do I feel so bad? Because they never wanted this war, Johnny. No, they were just looking for more land because they're losing their land here. I feel bad too, but what can we do? 
It's not like we could just move them to someplace nicer, frozener, and more fun. Yes, we can. <laughs> oh, great. There goes the entire military budget. Well, General, you may have lost your 11 cadillion dollar ultra-modern training facility. Hey, Johnny, well, that doesn't make me feel any better. But you are the general who won the first ever Penguin War. Oh, I am? I am! <laughs> Great! I'll give myself a medal! <laughs>